Hi all. In this lecture, we will talk about CCA 175 Real Time Exam Scenario 3. Let's see the data description. All the customer records are stored at HDFS location customers hyphen tab hyphen delimited. Data is in text format and data is tab delimited. This is the schema of the data. We have customer ID, customer first name, last name, email, password, street, city, state, and zip code. Let's see the output requirements now. Output all the customers who live in Kegwa city. Place the result data in HDFS. The result should only contain the records that have customer city value as Kegwa's. Compress the output using snappy compression and save the output using ORC format. Now to solve this problem statement, we have to understand how to read a tab delimited file in Spark as a data frame. After that, we have to apply a filter operation on top of the data frame to filter out the relevant data. Finally, we have to compress the data using snappy compression and we have to save it back to HDFS in ORC format. So let's go to the lab and see. Let's read the data first. So we will say, well, customers is equal to spark.read.option because we have tab as a delimiter. So I'm going to say delimiter and the value is backslash t. Now I'm going to read the file as CSV and I'll have to provide the path CSV path, data path. Then I'll also be giving the column names 2DF and providing the column names. Okay, so, so we got a data frame now, customers data frame. Let's see a few records. Customers dot show. Show me five records. So this is my data. The second thing is I have to filter the data. So let's apply a filter operation first. So I'm going to say, well, result is equal to customers dot filter. And then I'll say filter on customer city. The value should be Kegwas. This should be the value. This is my filter. Now what I'm going to do is let's see the record first. This is the data that I have to save to HDFS. So I'll say result.write. Now, first thing is we have to apply compression on top of this data. So I'm going to say dot option. Inside dot option, I'll say compression is snappy. Snappy compression. And then we have to save this as an ORC data. So I'm going to say dot ORC and I'll be providing the file path, HDFS path. So my HDFS path is this. Let's see. Okay, so we are done. Let's validate. Let's copy the path, go to the other console that we have and we'll be doing HDFS, DFS, hyphen LS and insert. Let's see. Okay, so we can clearly see that we have a file here with .orc extension and it says that it's .snappy.orc. That means the data is compressed using snappy compression and it is ORC file format. Now, what if we want to see the metadata of this data that we have saved? So for that we can say hive hyphen hyphen O ORC file dump and we can specify the path of this file here. Let's see. We want to specify a path of this file. Let's see. Okay, so this is my metadata. Let me just check the compression here and the metadata. So it says that my compression is snappy and here we can see the schema as well. So we have customer ID as a string, customer first name as string and so on. So this is the structure of my data. Now what if we want to see the data as well? So for that in the same command that we used earlier, what I'm going to do is 
few things I'm going to do here. First of all, I have to provide an additional flag that is hyphen D. And then I will be redirecting this output to a file. For example, dump.txt. And let's see. Now we are done. So this is the file that I have created. We can say tail hyphen F and providing the path of the file dump.txt and we can see the data itself. So this is the data in JSON format. So this using this utility ORC file dump, we can see the metadata and the data of an ORC file. Thank you.